it's Jan from Jan Does Reviews, and I thought I would show you um, how I organize all of my stuff. <laughs> so, um, I'm going to be holding my camera while I film this, so if it's wobbly at all, I'm sorry about that. I'm just apologizing in advance. Um, so let's take a look at my filming table, makeup desk, whatever you want to call it. Um, since that's where I do the majority of all of the content that I create here. Okay, so I've got a window for natural lighting there. That's my camera stand. I just used my Samsung Galaxy 10 SE. I don't know what it is. Anyway, I just use the camera on it. That um, is my current empties. Um, sometimes the jar gets a little bigger. Um, this is a vibrating massaging rose quartz tool. Um, Ulta brand pencil sharpener that I really love because it encloses the mess and it's easy to clean. Um, that's just a lucky buckeye. They're supposed to be. Good luck. Um, penny there. My gua sha stone. Also rose quartz. Then I've got my brushes here at the edge. All in their cups. Um, I am missing a few. I just washed the brushes that I've been using for the last week. They were quite filthy. But I've just got them. Um, uh, different assorted brushes through here. All my makeup brushes I do keep in one. And then these are the brushes that I have selected to use over the next week. Got an assortment. ColourPop, Do Color, um, Crown. I think there's even a Moda brush in there somewhere. And um, a Complex Culture. Uh, just a couple of little samples that I'm working on using up. That's Benefits Shy Beam Blusher, and that is the Benefit Quickie Hula Stick. Um, just a little mirror. It's regular on one side, as you can see. Hi there, there I am. Uh, and then magnifying on the other. Here we've got Q-tips. These are reusable. They're made from bamboo and cotton. Um, little cotton rounds, whatever you want to call them. Um, a clean beauty sponge, because I just um, washed my Real Technique one. Then there's just some oddball brushes. These are really short, so they disappear into um, the other cups that I have, so I just keep the shorter ones here. Um, then there's my favorite glosses and lipsticks, lip balm, eye cream that I am working on finish, finishing up. It's the Pharmacy um, Acerola Cherry Cheer Up Eye Cream. There's a ton of lip balms and glosses, liquid eyeliners. That's the LA Girl Mixing pigment that I've been talking about in recent videos. Um, it's on top of my notes. I've been testing out Guerlain's, um, no, it's not Guerlain, it's Givenchy, uh, Prisme Libre foundation. And that's all my notes on it. Then these little drawers here. That's my eyelash drawer with all the little tools different glues, um, a couple of sets of eyelashes are in there, and then on top I've got most of my lip liners. Now, over here, okay, that's all my junk, <laughs> just, <coughs> excuse me, kept for easy access, and then I've got this little table here, and, um, just got Kleenex. I just throw oddball stuff there when I need it. Um, that is a traveling cup that I found at Walmart. It condenses down into one level. You put the cup on top. 
and it keeps them all in there in their slots and then when you put it on it lifts the center out so you can find them easily the brushes are surprisingly good quality i think this was 20 bucks it wasn't bad um, i'm planning on taking it on my trip to new orleans that's coming up soon um, then we've got some of my favorite lip products along with my favorite liners lip liners there's glosses liquid lips um matte crayons gloss crayons just a little bit of everything as you can see there's quite a few lifter glosses oops and then over here yeah that's all my my trash that's not quite a week's worth um it's filled up a little faster because of all the packages that I've gotten. The first part of the month is always worse. Yeah, that's that's just a storage container with all my Easter decorations. I need to slide it out of the way. But I'm just going to show you, and then I'll go over everything. All right, so over here, I just have a um, reusable shopping bag there. This is my ring light with stand. Um, got a little tripod. I don't need it right now with the way I've got things set up. This is just extra makeup bags and um, storage pouches. This is full of eyeshadows that I am currently considering getting rid of. I put them in here just to see if I missed them. If I do, then I'll pull them back out. If I don't, then I'm going to get rid of them. Then here we've got a mixture of blushes, powders, foundations, all kinds of face products. And then this top one is full of lip products. And it's all the same stuff, things that I'm considering getting rid of if I don't miss it in the next couple of months. Up here we got my skincare fridge. Not much in there. <laughs> Then over here, I had this on my desk for a while, and it just, it takes up too much room, even when I put it sideways on a corner. It just wasn't practical. So, this is this week's rotation of products. There's some more. These are my eyeshadows plus mascaras that I'm using right now. Here are my eyebrow products. Get this at a little better angle. There we go. And these are some lip products that I like, but they don't fit anywhere that they don't get lost. So, um, just some oddball tools that come in handy occasionally. My concealer and powder and correctors. Then there's some more tools up here. Um, that is a coconut lip oil. Oops, right there. Um, this is actually glitter glue, but I saw a video a while back, and I've just been nervous to try it, where you can put this on on your under eye area where you're crepey and smooth it out as it dries, and it'll stay that way without looking bad. Haven't tried it yet. Makeup remover, extra large brush, and this row here, these are all full-size products. This is the um, Blueberry Bounce Glow Recipe that we got a few months back in AIA. Um, this is my lip exfoliator from the Body Shop and a Nivea. Can't live without milk and honey lip balm. And then these are all just mini products. Most of them are lips. This is a hand cream. There's some face oil up here. But yeah, the rest are all just little minis. And these are more lip products that aren't favorites, but I do use frequently. Along with a liquid lip remover from JCAT Beauty. Very inexpensive and it works great. It's a mixture of glosses, liquid lips, matte lipsticks, a little bit of everything. And here is where I put my 
used reusable rounds so they can go in the washing machine when they're filthy. And there's also a little basket down there for my reusable makeup remover wipes. Now, back to the bookshelf. This is my eyeshadow storage. This is um, the eyeshadows that I like. I use every day. I've got it sorted by neutral and then slightly more colorful. Um, a few hair products along with a tanning mitt and self-tanner in the back that I'm not using. These are all the things that came in my subscription box. I like to keep them in a container where I can get to them easily and remember to use them to see if I will use them in the coming month. Um, it's pretty full because those Keys Soul Care from AIA are uh, pretty bulky. Then on the second shelf, these are all my new makeup purchases that didn't come in a subscription box. It's just stuff that I bought on my own. These are face palettes. Um, a lot of Ofra there. These are my dupes. Low-cost, affordable dupes. And then these are my more expensive um, eyeshadow palettes that my dupes are duping. <laughs> bottom shelf I've got skincare there in the back that needs to be used but you know we've got the oldest stuff pulled forward where I can and um, the minis and face masks and such are there in this little container this is all eyelash stuff both boxes and then that is the coming weeks selection for my makeup rotation so I've got it pulled out where I can think about if there's anything I need to add to it to make a more complete look. Um, sometimes the palettes, I just randomly pair them on my spreadsheet. And sometimes they're both, um, although one may be colorful and another may be neutral, they may not have any dark shades or they may not have any light shades or they just need more contrast. So um, I'll add singles and liquid eyeshadows okay let's take a look at these drawers shall we i decoupaged them with um scrapbook paper just in case you wondered uh yeah these are extra tools these are used sponges they're clean they're just you know being rotated out this is that foam insert stuff that comes in the subscription boxes, and I reuse it to um, brush out the color on my brushes so they're fairly clean and can be reused that week. When they finally get filthy, I, uh, I wash the brushes. And, um, oops, missed one. There we go. Just a lot of oddball stuff. Plus an extra pair of reading glasses in case I come in here and forget. And then up here, these, as you can see, this is my dirty quick change, um, dirty reusable makeup remover wipe. There's a clean stack, uh, disposable makeup remover wipes. I just got these today from Amazon. I'm going to give them a try. They're fragrance free, so I'm hoping that they will work well. There's a second. It was a two-pack. There's the Ofra lip wipe one that I got. If you've watched my mystery box, that's where it is. These are those LaRousse face discs, or what they call them. They came in um, a three-pack. And I just haven't found a good use for them yet. So, they're there. Well, I can try to figure it out. Um, eyebrow stuff. Setting sprays, my mini micellar water, e.l.f. brush cleaner, mm, more setting spray, e.l.f. exfoliator. Um, I believe that's it. Um, oh, there are a couple of sample sunscreens that I got in different subscription boxes that um, aren't a year old yet, but I do want to use them up before they expire. Your sunscreens generally only last about a year before they stop being effective. 
And then over here, in this bottom drawer, oops, it's my daughter's Easter stuff. Don't tell her you saw it. Okay, let's do the top drawer first. Um, that's my skincare. This is just, it was a face palette, but I really didn't like it. But I liked the tin that it came in. It's large and it has a huge mirror. So, um, I just keep oddball things. Those are reusable, well, not reusable, disposable <laughs> mascara ones, um, that you can find at Dollar Tree. And I really like them for coming through my lashes. They're really great. You get six, I think, or maybe eight. I don't remember. You get quite a few for, um, one dollar. Oops. There we go. I've got a magnifying glass over here for the really small stuff on labels. This is my portable mirror with regular and magnifying wet wipes just because everybody needs something to clean. These are my white towels that I will put underneath on the top of my desk area here to um, control mess. Um, let's see. There's a CeraVe tinted mineral sunscreen that I bought and I'm trying out for the first time today. No allergic reaction, so I'm happy. This is the Peter Thomas Roth um, Instant Fix. It's supposed to smooth out your eye wrinkles, but it hasn't really worked for me. I've tried it a couple of different times and I'm just not impressed, especially for the price. This wasn't cheap. So, uh, yeah. Now, for puffy and dark circles, when... It doesn't help much with dark circles. I take that back. It's more for puffiness and very tired eyes. If you use just a dot of this under and around to the side of your eyes, it helps to de-puff and tighten the skin. You don't want to use it all the time, though, because it's not made for that. But... You know, if you didn't get a good night's sleep and you've got somewhere you need to look nice, it's a great fix. Let's see, what else do we have? My Wander Beauty Glow Ahead Illuminating Face Oil. Can't live without this stuff. It's amazing. Um, the Levito Age Away Hydrating Cream. As you can see, I'm almost empty. Uh, a lot of glow recipes coming up. Um, this is the Plum Hydrating Hyaluronic Acid Serum. This is their Watermelon Pink. I can't remember exactly. Let's see. What does this say? Um, watermelon Pink Juice Moisturizer. I'm not a big fan of this one. It's okay. That's why I haven't used much of it. Um, it does not feel like a moisturizer at all. It, um, actually feels tight on my skin once I put it on. So, not sure about that one. Then we have the Niacinamide Dew Drops. Love this stuff, though. It feels silky. As you can see, I've almost gone through it all. It's about, what, halfway? Love it. Um, we've got the Pharmacy Deep Sweep. BHA toner. I've been working on this for a while. You can see I'm almost done. I opened it last year in July. And then I've got the Wet n Wild um, Makeup Remover Stick. Have not used this yet. It's just something you can swipe on and then wipe off with a damp cloth to remove makeup. It's it's like a um, a cleansing balm, but in stick form. So I just thought that would be handy for my upcoming trip. Um, okay. I think that is it for this drawer. Now, let me get the, um, Easter stuff out of the way. Okay. So here's the bottom drawer. There's not a lot in here. This is what those face discs came in. This little storage pouch. Just 
not a good place for it, but that's where it is. Um, this is a brush cleaner soap. Um, haven't used it yet. I'm still using my Juno and Co, but it's next up. This is a dry oil spray that I don't like the texture of, but I love the smell. So, um, yeah, <laughs> haven't figured out what I'm going to do with that yet. Then there is the matching body butter. Love this stuff. M Green Grass makes the best smelling stuff ever. It smells like a fresh cut orange. That's just a repurposed candle jar. I think I've talked about this in my vanity tour. Um, it's just got those little cotton swabs that are shaped like um, eyeshadow applicators to point it on one end and then kind of a flat paddle shape on the other. They're just handy to use. You can see that's quite dusty. Oh, yeah. Better. Um, this is just a Z palette. It's got, I like it because it has the shield, little plastic shield. And then you can remove this if you want to put larger pans in than those little circular pans that most eyeshadows come in. Uh, let's see, what else do we have here? Oh, yeah, that's a brush that I thought would be really handy, but it's not. Don't know why. But it's cute, so um, I keep it. <laughs> this is my mini witch hazel. Um, just haven't used it. Uh, Mac Fix Plus. Unused. And I forget. What is this? Oh, this is the Laura Mercier makeup remover. Um, I still haven't used up all of my Lancome makeup remover, so this will be next up once I finish the Lancome. And then this little box back here, it's just full of headbands and oddball things. <clears throat> More disposable mascara ones that I bought when I was an Avon representative. Um, Avon's mascara suck. Don't bother. Let's see. These are some mini makeup eraser. And yeah, just more of that kind of stuff. So, oddball things. Just kept in a little box that I found at Dollar Tree. Okay, so there's the top area where I work um, notebook for ideas and notes on video projects or my Instagram stuff um, my planner there's some perfume samples a little Eiffel Tower coin bank uh, Lauren Canra Conrad Beauty Book. I've got another one uh, by Kevin Aquan, but it's in the living room. It's more of a coffee table book. Just a few notebooks. My laptop. I love my Asus Vivo book. It works great. That's my video editing um, software there. Got some wireless earbuds, air freshener, stapler. Um, this is a hard drive, um, two terabyte. Really like it. You know, all my pens and stuff. Notebook. Um, I keep a spiral bound notebook for just subscription boxes. That way I can flip through and compare. Um, this is what I refer to when I'm making the videos. There's all the tags that I use. There's the info on the boxes. And then I put everything, add it all up. Any notes? Boxycharm Premium. So there's a tag that they list on there, you know. So, um, yeah, that's how I keep everything. And yeah, here, here is. Sad. The box by Fashion Star. Still waiting to receive.
it's just blank. So, yeah. Um, then I've just got other little notebooks up there for different things. Um, I found this at Barnes and Noble, and it seemed really handy. This is not practical, though. It's not um, attached very well. It's come off twice, but a um, whole bunch of little post-its that you can use. It just seemed very, very handy. So far, it has been. Got my skeleton mermaid. Just a few odds and ends that you know you find at every desk. This is an Altoids tin that I've repurposed. Um, this is just um, contact paper that you can find anywhere. Um, I'm not. I don't remember exactly where I found this pattern. I've, I've had it for several years. But there you go. I just keep paper clips, and uh, it just seemed like a good place to put. That's the contact lens that I use whenever um, I attempt that. So far, it hasn't worked well. Um, mono vision. Then below is some um, um, crafting stuff and a little basket with all my old planners and subscription box notebooks. Another window. Cleaning supplies. And then my dresser. There we go. I've got a repurposed candle jar with disposable um, makeup cotton buds. Um, one end is pointed and the other is a flat paddle, kind of like, you know, an eyeshadow applicator. Um, yeah. Those there. Then this is... Um, Sweet Clementine Dry Oil Scented Spray by M. Greengrass. I don't like the texture of the dry oil spray on my skin, but I love their body butter. And this is in the same scent there, Sweet Clementine. It smells like a fresh cut orange. It's fabulous. Um, stuff back. There we go. Here's an overview of my desk. Then over here is the filming setup. Um, notebook for ideas and notes on video projects or my Instagram stuff. Um, my planner. There's some perfume samples. A little Eiffel Tower coin bank, uh, Lauren Canra Conrad beauty book. I've got another one uh, by Kevin Aquan, but it's in the living room. It's more of a coffee table book. Just a few notebooks. My laptop. I love my Asus Vivo book. It works great. That's my video editing um, software there. Got some wireless earbuds, air freshener, stapler. Um, this is a hard drive, um, two terabyte, really like it, you know, all my pens and stuff. Notebook, um, I keep a spiral bound notebook for just subscription boxes. That way I can flip through and compare. Um, this is what I refer to when I'm making the videos. There's all the tags that I use. There's the info on the boxes. And then I put everything, add it all up. Any notes. Boxycharm Premium. So there's a tag that they list on there. You know. So, um, yeah, that's how I 
keep everything. And yeah, here here is sad the box by Fashion Star. Still waiting to receive. <laughs> it's just blank. So yeah. Um, then I've just got other little notebooks up there for different things. Um, I found this at Barnes and Noble, and it seemed really handy. This is not practical though. It's not um, attached very well. It's come off twice, but a um, whole bunch of little post-its that you can use. It just seemed very, very handy. So far it has been. Got my skeleton mermaid. Just a few odds and ends that, you know, you find at every desk. This is an Altoids tin that I've repurposed. Um, this is just um, contact paper that you can find anywhere. Um, I'm not. I don't remember exactly where I found this pattern. I've, I've had it for several years. But oops. <clears throat> anyway, there you go. I just keep paper clips, and um, yeah. it just seemed like a good place to put. That's the contact lens that I use whenever. Um, I attempt that. So far it hasn't worked well. Um, Monovision. Then below is some um, um, crafting stuff and a little basket with all my old planners and subscription box notebooks. Another window. Cleaning supplies, and then my dresser. Hi! There we go. Um, let's see, I just got this bento box. Um, it's a five blusher set. The bottom blusher, the caramel shade, it was completely shattered. So um, I just put that into a Dixie cup, busted it up completely, added some alcohol until it was a liquid, and poured it back in there. So, um, yeah, I got it. I tested it. It's still not dry enough. Um, what I'll use once it's semi-dried is just this little empty eyeshadow pan. And I'll just run it around the top once it's mostly dry and smooth it out. Um, I use this. It's from um, skincare. I just cleaned the, the dropper. And I keep it to drop alcohol whenever I see a split in a pan where it's going to crack and completely shatter. I can put a drop or two of alcohol, press it down with my fingertip, and um, let it dry overnight, and it's perfectly new. This will probably take, um, it'll probably be dry enough to press, which is what um, this step is called, and then probably another night to completely dry out. <clears throat> These are clean and unused, never used, brand new beauty sponges that I have. More makeup sponges, flashlight, perfume, decanter, little boxes that I've picked up at different ocean trips. It's a spice rack that I've repurposed to hold um, just things that I think are attractive. Now, let's get into some drawers, shall we? I just did get this today in Amazon, and the fifth shade caramel there was shattered. So, what I did was I put all of the shattered powder into a Dixie cup like you would keep in your bathroom, you know, disposable. Um, I broke it up with the metal spatula. Then I poured some water in and stirred it all up. And then I poured it right back into the top. And once it's dried out a little bit, I will take a Kleenex around this little eyeshadow pan 
and I will put the Kleenex around it, you know, where this is nice and flat and it's all, you know, bunched up at the top where I can hold it. And I will use this to smooth that out and absorb any extra alcohol. And um, I've used that method several times and it works great. But it's just a plastic container I haven't put away yet. Yeah. And if I just need to add a bit of alcohol for something that's cracked, that's going to shatter if I don't do, I'll um, use this little dropper that I got out of a skincare thing. I cleaned it thoroughly and I just, yeah, can drop alcohol into it and press down and repair. So yeah, that's the other four colors. These are clean and unused, never used, brand new beauty sponges that I have, more makeup sponges, flashlight, perfume decanter, little boxes that I've picked up at different ocean trips. Uh, yep. That's a spice rack that I've repurposed to hold. Um, just things that I think are attractive. Now, let's get into some drawers, shall we? All right. These are all my concealers. I've got quite a few. They're, you know, some are in pots, some are in little compacts, but most are in um, these type of containers with doe foots. This one is a pump. Um, but yeah, there's all of those. These are tinted moisturizers and foundations. Those are the dates that I've opened them so I can keep up with it. And um, yeah, there's that Givenchy foundation I was telling you that I've tried out. I'm done testing it, so it's in there. These are all my powders, pressed and loose. Some are full size, some are mini, some are brand new and never opened. Then I've got primers that I have opened. You can see I, I try to date everything so I can keep up with it. So I know how long it's been open and be more aware of consistency quality changes, you know, in the products. Um, that's, these are the unopened and new primers. This one is a backup, my L'Oreal um, Magic Base. Um, this one is a sample size that I got free with purchase, but I already had it. This one that I did buy, the small size, it's the same thing. And then um, another e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer that I got in um, Beauty Box. And then just a few more primers that I have bought or received in subscription boxes that I haven't tried yet. This one, I got a sample size in my Ipsy bag years ago, and I bought the full size because I loved it. Um, I still have not used this. It was in the back of a drawer and I found it again and I just keep forgetting to open it and use it. I'm not sure if it's still good. I think I've had this two years. So, yeah. Just don't know. Um, okay. Let's look at the other half of this drawer. Back here we have my eyeshadow singles. Um, some are powder, some are cream. Some are loose, some are pressed. Um, there are a couple of duos here. That one, this one. This is a single, but it's a really big package. That's another duo. And then I've got the e.l.f. Halloween, or not e.l.f., um, Perfusion Cosmetics Halloween palette. Okay, these are liquid illuminators. They're just glowy face lotions. Sometimes I like these, especially if I know I'm going to be wearing a, um, a foundation or um, this has some luminosity to it. 
But this looks the best on my skin, this Laura Geller Quenching Tint. And, uh, but it's not very glowy. It mixed with one of these is absolutely beautiful. So um, that's what I do there. Uh, let's see. Oh, okay. Shadow sticks. Eyeshadow sticks. Got lots of them. Crayons. There's some more. And a couple of liquid eyeshadows are down in there. Then I've got eyeshadow primers and um, color correctors. So then back here, this little um, section is new eyeliners and mascaras. And then this one is all my eyebrow products. Some of it's new, some of it's used, but it's all in this one little um, section. It's just easy to keep up with that way. There we go. You can see everything. I've got um, brushes, brow tints, um, powders, pencils, all kinds of stuff. This goes back in there. And there is just an overview of the drawer. There we go. And then come to this drawer. I know, I've got a lot of makeup. It's crazy for one person. These are my bronzers and some contouring palettes. Uh, there's a variety. There's powder, there's cream, there's full size, there's sample size. I mean, there's just a little bit of everything, as you can see. Um, these are on my spreadsheet for rotations so they do get used back here I've got face palettes um, I've separated them out because they have more than one type of product in them so uh, it's just easier for me in the way I think to have them separated um, you can see there's Too Faced Natural Face there's a NARS face palette Wander Beauty, Complex Culture, Ofra, obviously Ulta, there's a couple of Natasha Denona, and a bunch of little elf bite size. Uh, here in front, I've got blushes. This is not all my blushes. It's just um, things that wouldn't fit into other containers. Most of these are powder or cream. Um, I do have one. You know, I've got two liquids in here. I've got this one from Juicy Pang, which I understand has been bought out by a Po. Um, because I just bought an a Po Juicy Pang blush on Amazon. Got my serum drops. But yeah, everything else is either cream or powder. Uh, this is a blush palette from Tarte. These are a couple of face palettes from Rude Cosmetics. I've got Stila face palettes here. I've got my Ofra blush palette. I've got the Hour. No, this is Tarte um, bronzing palette. And Lovecraft Beauty blush palette. And then there's the Urban Decay Back Talk. One side is um, blushes and highlighters, glowy blushes. And the other side is eyeshadow. Here we've got the Benefit Georgia Original. This sucker is old, but I won't get rid of it because I reformulated it. And now Georgia is glowy. Mine is not. It's matte and beautiful. So, yeah. Hang on to that one. Nomad Cosmetics Face Palette. Milk and Honey Highlighting Palette. Smashbox Lip Palette, Becca Lipstick, and a Jason Wu. Oops, sorry. Lipstick. I use these as blushers frequently. Then in the back, let me move that one back over here again so you can see. These are little containers I found on Amazon that um, blush compacts and powder compacts fit into nicely. These are all blushes. And then here are all my highlighters. 
so you can see I've got some color pop I've got quite a few ofas one two three that's a cover FX uh, makeup revolution W7 pretty vulgar Milani Fenty um, some Laura Geller some benefit uh, more color pop and undone beauty so yeah that's that's this drawer so that's you know everything that's not eyeshadow this drawer is devoted to nails um, I keep alcohol in here for um, I don't do them anymore but I did them for a while I'm letting my nails take a break from the poly gel nails um, and you need alcohol to shape your nails with that uh, this is sweet almond organic oil for your cuticles and nail beds um, foot lotion acetone nail remover non-acetone nail remover <laughs> and sanitizer yeah just different stuff this is um, actually a handy product that I got um, from Jamberry Nails and my sister-in-law was selling it it it's a heated fan so it blows warm air and dries your nail polish super fast works way better than anything else I found there's the poly gel stuff and some fake nails in a container um, I've had this for a couple of years I just haven't had a need for it yet it's a, just a pumice stone for your your feet um, that's cotton rounds and then this is just oddball stuff more oddball stuff nail glues clippers cuticle trimmers all that kind of stuff um, and then all my nail polishes so yeah there you go And I guess my last drawer would be this one. And this is just storage containers that I can organize with. Um, a couple of, this, another sunscreen from Sunday Riley and aloe gel. Um, a pharmacy cleansing balm. These are all containers, new containers that were repurposed. Um, that I'm going to use. These are all new um, and full. Christoph Robin scalp scrub, uh, Sol de Janeiro tiny boom boom cream, and then um, the Dove exfoliating body polish, and then just some sponge gel type sponges. That one's sponge gel, this one's um, similar. They're just, um, they're body sponges that have already had scented body scrub added to them. So you can use them a couple of times and then toss, um, you know, the disposable cotton rounds. And I guess that's about it. So yeah, that plastic container actually needs to go down in that bottom drawer. That drawer over there is full of candles, and this small drawer is office supplies. And then this drawer is full of computer cables, uh, my camcorder, extra tripods. These are replacement cables. My daughter is hell on um, charging cords, so we just bought some extra. Don't spend a lot of money on expensive ones. Buy the ones that are cheap from China or Taiwan, the Philippines, wherever. They all work the same. Did 
dead mic, uh, SD cards, all that kind of stuff. I don't not. Oh yeah, user manuals. So yeah, nothing fancy. Um, let's see. This is just you know some hair stuff when I'm having a bad hair day. Some pretty jewelry that um, I picked up at a thrift shop. And then, um, yeah, I don't know why. My health insurance sent me a little care package with um, BD thermometer, some, uh, what do you call it? There was a little handle thing that you could put on a key ring and close and open doors with. There you go. Hand sanitizer. This isn't it. They sent me another one. Um, that my daughter has currently, but couldn't remember the name of it. And I knew I had something like it in there. Disposable gloves and a couple of face masks. Um, and then I've got my free COVID rapid tests there in the back. Uh, just because our bathroom doesn't have a fan and you're supposed to keep them in a cool, dry place. And our bathroom gets quite warm. Um, so I didn't want to affect their possible shelf life with that. I keep this because I want to remember to get it once I have gone through all the damn moisturizers that I have used because I really, really liked this. And um, same with this um, eye cream. I really, really loved it. But it's, it's hella expensive. I think it's $85. And this is half size. So you, it's not like you get a lot more. Got this in an Ipsy. So that's why those are there. They're just um, memory aids. And so, yeah, that's that's all my shit. This is my spare bedroom where I film. The stuff you don't see. That is all potential yard sale or haul off to Goodwill donations. Um, but yeah, I've got my off-season clothes in all those drawers. So, yep. Bed linens are down in the trunk. And um, yeah, those are just baskets that I use whenever I've got a video idea that has a lot of stuff in it um so yeah i use that to sort daughter's school laptop and yeah just stuff yeah that's that's the lost sock container <laughs> you know everybody ends up with lost socks at some point right <coughs> excuse me so I just throw them in there and then I'll go through and find that some have had their mates and others don't. Okay, so that's it. I just thought you'd be interested to see what all I have, how I store it, how I organize it. Um, you know, how I, my thought processes work when it comes to those kinds of things. Let me know if there's anything else you guys would be interested in seeing. I'd appreciate it. Drop me a comment. Always love getting them. I try my best to reply. Sometimes um, it takes me a day or two, but I always put a heart comment so you, or a, you know, the little heart thing in the comment section so you know I've seen it. Um, and that's it for now. Hope you guys are having a great day. I know I am. Stay happy, stay healthy, and make good choices. Bye.